He's going to bounce. And he's going to do it. Yes, he's done it. Oh, wow. There he goes. <laughs> if he ran forwards, he would have survived. What is up, everybody? Mr. Miola here, and today I'm bringing you a brand new game on the channel. This is 101 Ways to Die. Now, I came across this game on Steam about a week ago. Um, about a week ago. And um, <laughs> it was uh, it's an up-and-coming title. The game actually isn't released yet. It comes out on the 22nd of March. I am not entirely sure on the price and stuff like that. You're going to have to wait till the game is released until you can find that out. But um, basically, this game is all about finding 101 ways to kill these little weird-looking dudes here. Yeah. So, um, basically, there was like a little bit of an intro dialogue. I'm going to throw that on the screen right now for you guys to watch and enjoy. Yesterday, somewhere in the independent state of Blutenstein, the domicile of Professor Ernst Splatterfunder, industrialist, scientist, mentalist, to the prying eyes of the outside world, his match lies on her different, but along the professor retreated underground, deep, deep underground. Wow, that's fast. I couldn't even keep up with any of that dialogue. <laughs> to the catacombs beneath his ancestral home. In vast laboratories, honed from the bedrock, he toils to discover unique ways to kill and maim. A life's work that's nearing completion. Can it be? At last, my compendium is complete. This manual will change the face of warfare forever. <laughs> now I suddenly <laughs> main gut the bomb, you fool. What is going on? Boom. I love the artwork. This is really nice. The blast rips both splatter fudder and his precious tomb to shreds. Battered and bruised, his efforts destroyed. Splatter Funder mustered what little energy he had left something, something, something. The professor did something. Yes, yes, this agency will do. Guts, guts, and you can do something. I didn't read it in time. Six weeks, three minutes, and eight seconds later. It was time for a new broom. My friend, you will rebuild my world. Rediscover for me the 101 ways to die. So yeah, it's kind of like our mission to find out all the ways we can kill these guys. Yeah, it's going to be a little weird. It's going to be cool. I went and played through the tutorial level last night, and um, it was actually pretty straightforward. It's actually really simple, so it's going to be a lot of fun. But if you guys do enjoy this video and would like to see follow-up videos in the future, make sure to go ahead and let me know where I'm punching that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. And let's get into this. So, we'll go ahead and skip the training labs, or should we do them? I actually only did like the first level but i think there's multiple ones i did the orientation but then there's like other ones as well there's three of them so i guess we'll start out with orientation let's just do it let's do it so here we go so basically the like main idea of the game is you're going to have these weird little i think they're called splutters Franken splutters or something like that. They drop out of this guy here. And this number here indicates how many are going to drop out. So two are going to fall out of here. And they basically want to go and end up over here. Now, this number, I think, is how many you're allowed to let through. Any more than that, and you lose the mission. And basically, as you can see, the place is a bit of a death trap. So what we can actually go and do is go and place little items around to, I guess... Make it a little harder for them to traverse. So we go ahead and click this little landmine down the bottom here. And uh, basically, we can attach it to any surface we like. Any surface without a red uh, line along it. So you can sort of see which ones we're able to place them on. So for this orientation, we're going to be placing it up the top here. And by the looks of it, we have a second mine that we can place. And uh, we can place this one wherever we like. So anywhere along the bottom here or along this side here. And um, I'm going to place it over here. Just in case, on the off chance, our little splutter, Franken splutters, make it all the way past the spiked thing here and this stuff over here. I guess that'll be that just to go and blow them up. So, let's do this. Release the splats! So, this is our little Franken splatter. Allow me to introduce the Franken splats. And um, basically, yeah, it's their mission to get across to the other side, which I already explained. Now, whoa, I nearly missed it. And um, as you can see, <laughs> that's one way to die. One of 101. 
And now the second one comes out. So the little jump pad that that last one ran into is no longer there. Neither is our mine that we placed at the top here. So he's going to be able to get straight past that and jump over the spike pit. But unlucky for him, we've gone and placed another mine right here, which is going to go boom, baby. And there we go. <laughs> as simple as that, we've gone and destroyed both of them. So that's pretty much the aim of the game. You want to stop them from getting to their objective. It's kind of like Lemmings, the really old game Lemmings. Don't know if you remember that game. It was kind of like a real, it was actually like a Microsoft DOS. You older, older viewers would know what Lemmings is. Let me know down below if you know what Lemmings is, because if you do, I got mad respect for you. That game is old school. So I actually haven't done this level. So this is going to be completely first hand. In this laboratory, I've given you two new tools to play with. A bumper and some slime. You should select the bumper first. Don't dawdle. I'm not paying you by the hour. <laughs> All right. So we got ourselves a bumper, uh, which is asking us to place here. So I guess we will do exactly that. Now, some tools like the bumper can be aims. Okay. So, oh, wow. So they're going to drop here. And they want to get to here. So we're going to have to launch them straight over the top. So I guess the bumper should go and like launch them about... Oh, I think it wants us to launch it there. So now it's slime time. Slime is an industrial lubricant. Strictly for work purposes. Place it on the ground next to the spikes to give a give the splat a nice drip. Okay then. So it wants us to place this where exactly? Next to the spikes. So I'm guessing like here. Okay. You're still in plotting mode. If you want to move a tool after you've placed it, you select it in the inventory and press the right click to remove it. Easy enough. So, uh, let's do this, I guess. Let's go ahead and release the splits. Here we go. So he's going to want to... He wants to get to the little red part here, but our little bumper thing is hopefully going to shoot him straight over the top. There he goes. That's what I like to see. And, oh, no. Oh, he made it across. I thought he was going to land in like this hot steamy area. There he goes. He slipped and he is dead. Objective complete. Was it just the one? It was just the one for that time. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Well, we did it. Bonus hint. Place the slime near the spike pit. We'll create a long... Oh, okay. It gives you hints and stuff. That's kind of cool. Well, let's go and move on to level three. No. <laughs> you can watch the replay, but we don't need to watch the replay. We saw it firsthand. So... Oh, wait, we did replay the level. Well, we don't need to replay the level. So let's go ahead and do the third and final level of the tutorial. Here we go. This level is called One More Thing. And it looks like we've got a bit of an Indiana Jones style puzzle here. We've got a big bowl, which I imagine is going to run over some of our little Franken splats. This is going to be interesting. Press tab to see the objectives panel. Graduate, graduate objectives must be... Graduate objectives must be completed... For the experiment to be successful. Master objectives are for... Oh, graduate. Not graduate. Blah. Master objectives are for when you feel like showing off and getting more stars to unlock more labs and tools. All right. So, tab. Okay, it tells us here. Only one splat can escape. All right. That's a graduate objective. The master objective is to kill one splat with the bowling ball and to combo it. Wow. With a cake. Is that cake? It looks like a cake. That and that. All right. Well, I guess we'll give it a crack. So... We need to uh, kill someone with the bow, which I imagine means we need to somehow activate that. Uh, what do we have down here? We've got a cannon. Cannon during game time by clicking its inventory. Okay. So that cannon actually can like, you can activate it by clicking something. So I reckon we're going to put the cannon up here. And uh, that's going to fire straight at this ball over here. And then during like when it's all active and stuff, we're going to press it and it's going to launch the bow. So what was the second objective we wanted to do? We want to make a combo out of the cake, whatever that is, and some spikes. Now, how in the world are we going to do that? <gasps> we've got cake here. We've got... We've got whatever this is. Uh, bombs. It's a bomb. Okay. Uh, flat surface. If you place it on a slope, it will roll away. So I guess we've got to put that there. Right? So what I'm picturing is one of them is going to die by launching the cannon into the bowl. The bowl is going to roll down and squash someone, right? The second one, I don't even know how the splats would get up there. Oh, wait, no. They're falling down from up there. Oh, snap. I got it now. I got it now. And then the next one, he's going to run for the cake and hit the bomb. I don't know. Let's find out. Release the splats. So he's going to drop from up here. Remember the experience about tricking. Yep, 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 yep. 
Okay, so we're going to want to go and fire the rocket like that. Whoa, snap. Just like that. Okay, now the second one's coming. Holy crap. I didn't expect that to happen. So the second splat is now going to come around. Okay. Now, <laughs> this, game is, this game is amazing. All right. If you grow weary of the splats in send and store link, press and hold F to speed up time. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So just in case they get stuck, you can speed up the time. So he's going to run at the cake, right? Yes, he is. And I guess we got to like activate the bomb. And what's that going to do? Oh, wow. All right. All righty then. That was cool. That was really, really cool. <laughs> we, uh, we completed all the master objectives. That was awesome. New high score as well. Wonderful. And, oh, it's a new way to kill someone. It's like a combination. So it looks like you sort of unlock 101 ways to die. So we've got this one here. Did we get any others or not? Oh, we unlocked the basement. Okay. So it looks like... Now, I remember having a little look at the menu. Now, over here, we've got the vault. And as we enter the vault, you can actually see all the ways that we found to kill people so far. So the first one was blasted spikes. Now, this was the one from the... I actually did this one when I was playing the tutorial the first time, actually. But as you can see, it looks like as we move across, it's got all bunches of different combinations that we can use to kill things. And obviously, the ultimate objective is to find all 101 ways, which is going to take a lot of... A lot more time, obviously. So, um, like I said, you guys want to see future videos, we will do that. I guess we'll go ahead and try the basement now. I guess this, this is where, like, the levels actually begin. So, there's 10 levels in the basement. The graduate objective is to do something. It disappeared. Um, we got one splat. Kill the splat. And the master is to somehow combo those three things. So, let's do this. Let's give it a shot. This is our level. Up and away. Oh, Oh, no. I thought it was the same level that we'd already used. So, the harpoon will fire a bolt at any splat that it detects. Moving through its targeting beam, it takes five seconds to reload and can be placed on walls and ceilings. Professor's tips. To enter sci uh, eye mode and see where you can place tools, red surfaces are out of bounds. Oh, like enter? No. Um, I sure... No. I'm not sure. What did I do? Oh, space bar. Ah, that's how you do it. Okay, so... Basically, they want to get from up here to down the bottom. And we want to make a combo out of... It's What's going on there? We want to make a combo out of whatever this controller thing is to whatever that is to the harpoon. Okay. So, what is this exactly? Oh, it's the bumper. Okay. It's the bumper. Oh, and we want to bump... Oh, I see what we're doing here. I see what we're doing here. So, we've got the bumper here. And the bumper... Wants to shoot him into whatever this is over here. We want to shoot him into like this this spray pushy thing. It's like a big fan. So we want to push him into the van. And the van is going to launch him up in front of this harpoon. And I think we've got a mine as well. But I don't really know what we're going to need the mine for. So I might just... I might just leave the mine for now. And we'll see how we go. Release the splats! So, he's going to pop out out of here. We're going to speed him up a little bit. Oh, yeah. There we go. Holding F. Speed him up. He's going to jump over the spikes. He's going to cruise on down here. And I hope he doesn't jump over our little bouncy thing. There he goes. There he goes. Whoa. That happened too quick. Let's watch that in slow-mo replay. No, I want to watch it. I want to watch it. <laughs> oh, my God. That was great. So, he hits the bouncy thing. He hits the fan. Hit by a harpoon into a mine. And he is dead. That was insane. All right. Um, did we do our... We did our master objective. Nice. Let's move on to the next level. And we've got a new way to kill someone. Fantastic. And we have... Achieves a four times combo. Nice. Start started. These must be achievements that we're unlocking, I think. So, let's go and do the next level. Kill switch. We've got two splats to play with this time. This level looks pretty similar to the last one. Let's have a look at what we've got here. Um, this is the switch. When someone moves over it, it switches to on or off. You sci-fi mode. Aha. What kind of evil genius would I be if I didn't have a few lava pits lying around in my laboratory? I like it, mate. I like it. So, we've got a lava pit this time. We've got a fan into a spiked wall. And we have a switch, which is this here. So, I imagine the switch activates something like this fan. Oh, yes. 
That's green. That's green. I think that means it activates the fan. So let's work out exactly what we need to do. Our graduate objective is to kill the splats. Master objective is to uh, get a lava pit kill. So kill two splats in the lava. So we want to not use the fan. That's what I'm gathering so far. Huh. Well, we've got slippery stuff. So I imagine we want to get someone to slip into the lava. So we're going to place that there. And then we have this bumpy thing. So, oh, we can't place that over here. How can we do this then? Can we sort of launch them straight in from up here or something? I don't know. I guess we can try that. So like that. And I guess we just give it a shot. Release the splats. So, let me see how this switch thing works. He's going to run over the switch. That turns the fan off. Then he's going to hit this. Whoa, yeah. He hit it. He hit the fire. Here comes the second one. And he should slide straight. No, whoa. We failed it. We failed it. Whoa. Because, because the fan, like, sucked him through somehow. Oh, wow. I got it now. I think I get it. I think I get it. We're going to move. Um, how do I move that? There we go. We're going to move the jumpy thing to... This is actually a tough one. Can we sort of like... Oh, I got an idea. We want to launch him back. So he runs over the switch a second time. Release the splats. So the first one is going to hit the switch. Oh, this isn't going to work. Then he's going to launch back. There he goes. Okay. Switch is off. We've got two of them passed. I didn't think it worked that way, but it did. Slide straight into the fire. Slide straight into the fire. That is how it is done. Oh, that is beautiful, beautiful. Let's watch that in slow motion. Boom, in the fire. And, oh no, that was the second one. I don't know. They both ended up in the fire and that's all that matters. So we achieved our mastery objective. I guess we'll move on to the next level now. That wasn't so bad. Hot love. I like it, I like it. So. Level three, death logger. We have to kill all the splats. Is there a master objective? Kill two of them with some sort of like swinging ball of spikes. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. So let's do it. When creating the slime, I engineered, I engine, uh, engineered it so you can place tools on it. Get creative. Okay, okay. So we've got two mines and slime. So I imagine we can go slime, mine, and mine again. So our master objective is to kill both of them on this swinging pendulum spike roll thing. And I guess we can try and do that now. Release the splats. So here's my idea. He's going to run, slide straight into this bomb, which is going to hopefully launch him over there. There he goes. Please hit it. Oh, oh, there he goes. And the next one's going to slide down here and hit that one. And straight into it. That's how it's done. That is how it is done. Boom, baby. This one, he nearly got away. He actually nearly got away. I'm so glad he didn't, though. I'm so glad he didn't. And the second one, straight in like that. Marvelous. That, all right. These, these levels aren't too bad. These ones are actually pretty easy. So we've got another way to die. Fantastic. Let's see if we can get through a couple more as quick as we can. So what have we got here? Okay, this one looks a little bit different. What is our mission? We can only let one of them escape. Um, the graduate objective is to make a... Wow, it's a four-way combo with two bumpers. A, 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 what do you call that thing? A mine <laughs> and a spike. So, oh yeah, and the master objective, don't let any of them survive. Okay, so how are we going to do this? We've got three bumpers. I'm going to put one straight here and it's going to go straight up. So that should stop the first splat. Oh, yeah, okay, no, that'll stop the second one. So the first, okay, so we've got a mine and a spike up here, which makes me wonder, do we need to make one bounce up here? Like that. And then the second here, and that's gonna launch him up there. So one, the first one is gonna run straight into here. Whoopsie, what's going on? It's gonna run into here. That's gonna launch him up onto that one. My, my, Arrow keys are glitching out a bit. That's going to launch him up here into this one. And that's going to hopefully propel him into the spikes. Then the second one is going to run into this and go straight into the spikes. Let's release the splats. Let's see. Oh, wait. I want to get out of this mode. There we go. All right. So, how's it going to work? We're going to zoom out. It's going to be a big kill. Boom. 
And boom, yes, three and four. That's the way it's done, baby. And the second one down here. Is he gonna launch? Is he gonna launch? Whoa. Oh, too easy. It is just too easy. <laughs> three stars, baby. Come at me. Next level. So the next level is called three Bs. I guess we get straight into it then. And we have one splat this level. We've got a bulb. We've got a bumper. We've got a mine. Oh, this is interesting. This is interesting. How, like, creepy do the levels look? They look so industrial and scary. So our mission for this level is only one splat can escape. So that's pretty easy to... Oh, hold on. Whoa. We've got, we've got this one over here. And then we have one over here as well. So we've got two splats coming from two separate, like, things. And we need to kill both of them. So what do we have to play with? We actually have no way of doing it. It doesn't tell us how, so we just got to make it happen, I guess. So I reckon we got to go and launch one of them up there. So that's going to launch this guy. He's going to hit that, launch into that mine, push that ball down. The electricity ball. It's not just any ball. It's a freaking electricity ball, which hopefully will then come down and destroy the one that runs out of here, right? That's what I'm thinking. And then we need to work out a way of killing the first one, which I imagine... Huh... That's actually a good question. Can a mine maybe do that? Just just one little mine right here. It's actually going to roll. Oh, no, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. Um, let's place that. Oh, let's place it up here. There's like a spot and everything for it right there. Okay, so we want to go ahead and... Yeah, let's do this. Release the splats. Let's see how it works. So... This one here, if he's too fast, this isn't going to work. This guy's got to pick up his game. He's going to bounce. He's going to bounce. And he's going to do it. Yes, he's done it. Oh, wow. All right. I wasn't expecting that to actually work. I want to see the replay of this. And this guy just cops a head full. You ready? There he goes. <laughs> if he ran forwards, he would have survived. You are a moron, man. You moron three stars once again and we have two new ways of killing people discover 10 wow. wtds oh sweet we've got 10 ways to die so far 10 out of 101 of course um i reckon we can do one more i reckon we got time for one more so let's go and do this what do we got what do we got the boulder smash you do the mash you do the boulder mash you do the mash do the boulder match we got two spawners over here we got three this time so we got one coming out of the left one we got two coming out of here um and they're trying to get up here okay 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 this is interesting so the first one is going to drop down here he's going to run along he's going to jump 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 he's going to try and get over here i guess there's a spike wall here except the first one that hits here is going to launch that and hopefully at least run one of them over um, we need to kill two splats with the same ball or a triple kill. Okay, so that kind of gives us a little bit of insight as to what we're doing. We want to kill three of them with the same boulder. And we've, what do we have? We've got a bumper. And we have... What else have we got? A well-placed stun bomb will stop a splat in their tracks for five seconds. Uh -huh. So we want to use this to stun one at some point. Which I imagine would be about here no 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 we're gonna put it like here somewhere i think no it's gonna roll of course it is uh where can we stun him then i guess we're gonna have to stun him down here so we'll stun him down here uh we're then going to have to use a launch pad at some point as well uh where can we ah oh, i just gotta see it i gotta see it let's release the splats and see what sort of order they come out at. So we're going to hold F to speed it up a little bit. He's going to jump down. And he's going to go as well. And he's going to... Oh, wow. They literally... No. No. Oh, they survived. They survived. They all just jumped over everything. Okay, we got to find a way to stop that from happening. we got to find a way to stop that from happening. Let's try this. Release the splats. We're going to speed it up a bit. So the first one should get stunned on this, right? Yep. He's stunned. And now they're going to keep running. Oh, this is going to be bad. They're going to make it through. 
He gets launched. He gets launched. Oh. Oh, no. Did we kill two of them with the boulder yet or not? We did. It's just the third one. Keep going. Oh, man. No. All right. Okay. Well, we managed to get two. We just can't get this third one who's on like a vicious cycle right now. I wonder if we can just build up the biggest score ever. Never mind that, though. I'm really stumped on this one here, guys. I'm really stumped. I really do not know what to do. We've got the little stunner. It's going to stun him there. But it's 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 just as it's gonna be exactly the same as stopping him anywhere else we have up until now. That's gonna kill him on there. That's gonna kill the second one. But the third one escapes. Now I think I've got an idea. Release the splats. So, first one gets stunned. Coolies, coolies, coolies. Now the rest come, right? So, they're on top of each other's heads. This is hopefully going to launch him straight into that. No, not the spike. Oh, double boulder kill. Hold on. It said we got a double boulder kill. Whoa. Now we're destroying. Whoa. We didn't get the triple boulder kill. I don't know why we got a double boulder kill. It didn't even boulder kill him. I've got it, guys. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. So we're going to put the stun thing up here, right? And all that's going to do is uh, basically we can like remotely detonate it later on. It gives it like a two second timer and it goes and drops it down. We're going to go and get our little propel pads and I'm just going to put this here. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're going to put it up here with hope of launching him a little bit quicker and we're going to release the splats and see how this works, all right? So we got to get the timing on this just about right. So we're going to go and drop it right now and watch this it's gonna drop the ball kill the first one now the question is will they get killed by the right ball they're not going to nope and what's he gonna do now jump straight over oh my god what if we can just keep launching them back down release the splats this is the one this is the one why didn't i think of this so that there it's just going to keep launching them back down until they're all in one place. Oh, oh wow. It's got a health bar on it, but we're good. We're good because we can activate the stunner now. And that, here we go. Here we go. As long as they're all in there. Here we go. No, they're escaping. Oh, oh. we just need better execution, but we've got the right idea. I think we've got the right idea now. No, they're all running. Don't run, don't run. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Let's watch the replay because I held it down and sped it up way too quickly. Okay, we got to watch the replay on that one because that was just beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Boom. Straight into all three of them. Like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. That was marvelous. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to wrap up this video right here. I really hope you enjoyed this video of 101 Ways to Die. I would love to make a follow-up video of this one. So let me know down below if you want to see that because I would love to bring it to you. And also leave a thumbs up on this video. Make it rain them thumbs ups. And uh, I guess that's the only way I really know if you want to see more of it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. I will see you guys in another video very, very soon. Bye for now. Jimmy. Jimmy is an only child, and he lives with his parents, Bob and Marsha. He spends his days chilling in his man cave, playing computer games, browsing Reddit, and chatting online with his friends. As far as Jimmy is concerned, he is living the SimCity dream.